What's up, y'all? Every day, say here back with another relationship question. First and foremost, let me get you to like the video and subscribe. The goal is 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And the only way I'm gonna be able to get to that is if y'all like and subscribe to the video. So I'm gonna give y'all a second to do that. All right, cool. Now let's get to it. How to confront my girlfriend about her Snapchat and her abusive ex? My girlfriend 30 has been in contact with her ex on Snapchat. And I'm not sure how to confront her about it without sounding like I'm accusing her. So I, male 23, have recently realized my girlfriend has been regularly Snapchatting her abusive ex and interacting with his page on Facebook. Obviously, she has a right to talk to whoever she wants, but it really bothers me that she's talking to him at all especially on Snapchat. Any advice on how to bring this up to her without sounding like I'm accusing her? I let this slide once in the past thinking it was just a one-off thing, but found out last night this has been continuing. All right, little bro. So, first and foremost... It makes no sense that your girlfriend is in contact with her ex on a regular basis. That's the red flag number one. Come on now. Come on now. There has to be boundaries set in this relationship. Can I allow your, your girlfriend, even though she is older than you, to literally run around and be able to do whatever she wants to do? Period. And I know you sit here and you say, well, I can't tell her who she can talk. Yeah, you can. You actually can. You can tell her who she can talk to and who she can't. And what I mean by that, especially in this scenario, I don't understand why she's contacting her ex-boyfriend. And, and not only that, but the fact that he's abusive also. That lets me know that she probably has some type of trauma that she hasn't dealt with yet. Meaning that she's a, she has become addicted to the abusive nature of her ex. And because you're not abusive and you're not toxic, she is actually seeking out that abuse and that toxicity that she once went through. It's a strange phenomenon. I'm going to tell you right now. It's a strange phenomenon. It's like, it's like people who haven't been exposed to a certain lifestyle. Like, I'm, I'm going to use this, for instance, for for instance for slaves, okay? And I know this is getting a little deep, but I'm going to use it for slaves because that's the only thing I can think of. When the save, slaves got free, people were still slaves because their mindset was still in slavery. They didn't even realize they were free. They kept working even though they were free. Why? Because they became used to that mindset. They became accustomed to being a slave. And so even when they were free, they still behaved like they were slaves. And so this is similar to what your girl is going through. Your girl is with this guy who was abusive and and wasn't right for her. And now she's with a guy who is wholesome, who knows how to treat her, who's nice to her. And it's so different from what she used to be with that she's actually craving and desiring to go back to the very thing she just left out of. And I know that's messed up, but she got trauma, bro. She got trauma. And that's that trauma is only going to get fixed by a therapist or a counselor. She needs to sit down and have a conversation with a counselor or a therapist because this man, her ex, has his hook so far into her. Even if the perfect man came along, she's still going to be running back to him. So you being 23, you're young. You're very, very young. And she's 30 years old. Listen, bro. You need to let her go. You need to let her go. There's obviously no boundaries set. She probably thinks you're naive. Thinks, well, I can just tell him whatever and he's going to think it's okay. That's a problem, bro. That's a problem. You can't be naive. Even though she's older... You still have to resume the dominance in the relationship. You still have to set boundaries. I don't care if, if you were if you were 18 and she was 40 years old. You still the man in the relationship. 
And there still has to be boundaries set. You can't say, well, because they're older, I'm allow them to walk over me or they know better than me. Just because you old don't mean you got wisdom. I've met old guys who act like they 15 years old. And I've met 18 year olds who act like they 45 years old. As far as maturity and wisdom wise. So just because she's older doesn't mean she knows better and she can convince you and she can persuade you and she can manipulate you into thinking, oh, there's nothing wrong with this or I can't tell her this or I can't say that. No, 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 no. You can. And you should. But I'm telling you right now, if this has happened in the past before and then it's coming up again, you definitely need to address it. You definitely need to put your foot down. And say, listen, I am not willing to tolerate you having conversations with your boyfriend while you're in a relationship with me. Your ex-boyfriend, excuse me. No. I won't tolerate that. And if that's something that you can't seem to get behind, then I'm walking away. I'm leaving. Period. You have to be careful, especially as young as you are. You have to be careful of older women. I'm not saying all old, older women, but some older women, they feel like they got wisdom. They've been doing playing the game for a long time and they get them a young thing and they think that, you know, they can run them over. They can control them. They can manipulate them because younger guys are naive. You have to be very, very careful. Be careful and listen to and listen to and listen to everything that she says. Listen to it. Pay attention to her words, the things she explained. Because when you bring this to her, I'm telling you right now, when you bring this to her, what's going to happen is she's either going to try to dismiss it like it's not a big thing or she's going to try to make you feel like it's okay that she's doing it. One of the two things going to happen. She's either going to dismiss it like, oh, it's not even that big of a deal. Like, he just did this and that. Like, we just be talking because, like, you know, I'm trying to help him through the trauma that he caused me. As no. No, we're not doing that. You don't need to help him with his trauma. How the blind gonna lead the blind? You got trauma yourself because you're still interacting with an abusive ex-boyfriend. That's trauma. How are you gonna help the, your trauma-ridden boy, ex-boyfriend, abusive boyfriend, get over his trauma when you in trauma? No. That's a manipulative tactic to try to make you feel bad for this for him in the situation and to give the okay with her having a conversation with him. Absolutely not. Not gonna happen. So what you need to do is you need to shut that down. You need to just come to her point blank period, say, listen, and I know you were wondering how to bring this up to her about this. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna send her a message, say, hey, listen, we need to talk. Find, you can find a public place depending on how comfortable you are with her. If you don't feel like she's crazy or she might put her hands on you, then, you know, y'all can do it in the privacy of your own home. Or if not, you can do it in a public place. It doesn't really matter. You need to sit down with her and say simply like this. Like, listen, hey, I found out that you've been interacting with your abusive ex-boyfriend. Um, I don't know what the reason is. You can ask her why she's been interacting with him. But I want to let you know, regardless of whatever she says, you need to put your foot down. So she says, well, I've been contacting him to try to help him get over his trauma. I was like, you know what? That's a really nice thing. But understand something that won't be tolerated in this relationship. Period. So I'm going to need for you to cut communication with your, your ex-boyfriend right now, today. I don't want you following him on social media. I don't want you being able to contact him on Snapchat. I need all of that gone today. Not tomorrow, today. Right here, right now, right in front of me. And if for whatever reason she sits there and says, Well, I don't think I should have to, I shouldn't have to this and that. I'm like, okay. Well, listen. Either you do what I tell you to do, or this relationship is over. Either do what I say or this relationship is over. Period. There's no if and buts of discussions like this is what it is. And if she agrees to it, cool. Go on through life, living your life, having fun, enjoying the relationship.
check in periodically to make sure that she ain't re-added this person. I re-added him back again. But ultimately, you got to put your foot down. You have to set boundaries with her. You can't allow the older woman just to walk over you. You can't allow her to manipulate you. You can't allow her to make you feel like you just tripping and stuff like that. No, you got to put your foot down. And you're young too, so she probably feel like she can get over on you. You got to put your foot down. And then after that, I would have a very deep conversation with her about why she would even want to be in contact with her ex who was abusive. That doesn't make sense. Why would you want to be in contact with someone who treated you so poorly? I, I don't... And, and that's the trauma. That's the trauma that I'm talking about. That's the trauma. And so I would have that conversation with her at a, at a different time, a later time, but not that far off into the future. I'd have that conversation with her. And I would suggest her possibly getting counseling or some type of therapy to deal with that. Because I can only imagine that you know, your relationship probably isn't as pristine and as beautiful as you thought it would be simply because she's probably dealing with, she's probably has some trauma that she picked up from him. So I'm sure there's some things in a relationship that are probably red flags that you're probably not even catching on to because if she was dealing with tra a traumatic situation, she's going back and she's entertaining someone who's abusive. I can only imagine that she's bringing some of that abuse and some of that trauma into y'all relationship. So pay attention to the red flags. Get, you know, set boundaries. Let her know, hey, I want the communication stopped right now. And I don't want to see this, this happen again. Because it's happened once. This is the second time. If it happens another time, I'm gone. Period. Thanks for the question.